वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक्स प्लेलिस्ट आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू लाइन चार्ज डेंसिटी सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी एंड वॉल्यूम चार्ज डेंसिटी इन दिस सेशन सो आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू द मीनिंग ऑफ लाइन चार्ज डेंसिटी सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी एंड वॉल्यूम चार्ज डेंसिटी हियर देन आई एल शो यू हाउ टू कैलकुलेट लाइन चार्ज सरफेस चार्ज एंड वॉल्यूम चार्ज एंड आई एल शो यू द फार्मूला विथ इट्स फिजिकल अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो by using that in future you can be able to solve examples based on line charge surface charge and volume charge so let us begin this session with first agenda that is line charge density so line charge density now see what is the meaning of line charge density first of all so line charge means what line charge means if you have any object like a wire and on that wire if you induce q amount of charge then line charge is total charge on that wire divided by length of that wire right so if you have any wire and on that wire on that wire if you deposit if you deposit total q amount of charge right then resultant line charge density that is total charge divided by length of charge so we can define it by rho l that is total charge divided by length of line right total charge divided by length of line and this is what the basic formula that we have it for uniform charge distribution but sometimes this charge distribution that is a function of coordinates so in that case what we need to do so for that all we need to say is if i consider small differential length out of this wire let us there say this small differential length is dl and on this small differential length if i induce dq amount of charge right then we can say from that this line charge density that is dq by dl and based on this if i want to calculate total charge then all we can do is i can rewrite this dq is equals to rho l dl well rho l is line charge density so if you do integration then this will be total charge and that is line integration of line charge density right so total charge on line charge density that is line integration of line charge density see this is how we can calculate line charge density examples so for that we can have a calculation of total charge based on line charge function right and for uniform charge distribution we can say total charge by total length that is line charge density sometimes there will be a function of coordinates for this line charge density in that case we can say rho l is equals to dq by dl and based on that we can have total charge by having integration of line charge with respect to length now i'll explain you surface charge now see for surface charge i need to give you surface so let us say we have one surface and if we have surface s and if i deposit total charge q on this then surface charge density rho s that is total charge divided by area of surface so surface charge density that is total charge divided by area of surface and that is how we can have surface charge density calculation but sometimes you will be having surface charge density as a function of coordinate so for that how to calculate total charge which is existing on this surface charge so for that we need to consider very small differential surface 
So if I say this small differential surface is ds and on this small differential surface if I say dq amount of charge is there then this surface charge density that will be dq divided by ds means surface charge differentiation with respect to surface. So if I rearrange this dq will be equals to rho s ds means total charge that is what integration of charge and that is surface integration of surface charge density. So by surface integration of surface charge density we can have total charge on that given surface. So sometimes what will happen you know like surface will be given to you and uh, the surface charge density that will be a function of coordinates. So if you do that surface differentiation of surface charge surface integration of surface charge density then you can have, you can be able to calculate charge which is there on that given surface. So here as a surface charge density sometimes we have paper foil right and on paper foil we deposit some charge and that is what we are using it and this surface charge density that is even important in capacitance. So when you use capacitor there will be two parallel plate. So that parallel plate even we can consider as surface charge density, surface charge right. So ultimately it should be of metal and on metal we deposit somewhat charge right. Now third basic term that I'll explain and that is volume charge density. So now third term volume charge density. So when we talk about volume charge density we will be having any random volume right. Now see we have one metal volume that you can see it over here right and if I say total volume of this body that is V and if you deposit total Q charge on this body then volume charge density that is rho V and that is defined as total charge divided by volume total volume of object right so total charge divided by total volume of object that will be volume charge density. Now in this sometimes you will be having this volume charge density as a function of coordinates right and there could be equation like calculate charge on that given volume. So what we need to do so for that we need to consider small volume let us say this small volume that is dv and in this small volume if I say dq amount of charge is there then we can say this rho v that is dq by dv. So if I rewrite this formula then this will be dq is equals to rho v dv and for total charge calculation we need to do integration. So integration of charge that is q right and that is equals to volume integration of volume charge density. So charge on given volume that is volume integration of volume charge density right and see in my initial sessions you can see I have explained uh, three coordinates right uh, for Cartesian coordinate volume integration that we need to do it as per <clears throat> as per dx dy dz so see for Cartesian coordinates we need to take volume integration as per dx dy dz right for spherical coordinate for spherical coordinate we need to do this volume integration by r square dr d theta d phi and for cylindrical coordinate this volume integration that we need to do it by r dr d phi dz right and similarly we can apply that for 
this surface charge as well as line charge for line charge we will be having x y z coordinate right and with respect to that we can have that integration and for surface charge we will be having surface and accordingly we can apply any coordinates so i hope that you have understood this session thank you so much for watching this video in future i'll make videos based on examples based on line charge surface charge and volume charge that will be helpful to you to understand how to solve problem based on that and you can give your valuable suggestions definitely based on it in future i'll make videos which will solve all those queries queries which is required to solve over here